What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. Today is a momentous occasion. Today brings the first official build from Microsoft of Windows 11. This one is build 22,000 or 22,000. And with it brings a number of changes, basically a lot of the stuff that came from the whole event last week. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is, since there's so much to cover, the blog post is so long, I'm going to break it up into multiple parts covering the new store in this video and other parts in other uh, videos. So join me in taking a look at the new Microsoft Store of Windows 11. So as you can see here, this is the whole new experience for Windows 11. And before I even click on the new Microsoft Store, there's a little backstory with this Microsoft Store and some of the elements that's in it. Um, when I restarted my computer, when I first installed Windows 11, there was an error that popped up for me and it's been happening for a while now, even on Windows 10, that says File Explorer error. So it requires me restarting Windows Explorer in the Task Manager over and over and over again in order to get elements to work. And while that error still exists until it corrects itself, it shows the original start menu and the original uh, file explorer and file and everything. Everything is the original, the original store icon and everything from Windows 10. So it was very strange, but now everything is working fine. So here is the new Microsoft Store. You can see I was searching for Adobe Creative Cloud. It is Microsoft Store Preview. And if you click that, you see this is the new store. And what's interesting looks, it looks like they put a glass kind of look over even this ice road. I don't know if it's because of this logo or if it's in general, but it's a it's a cool thing. Going full screen, you see that animation. It's still, I love it. I love the, the animation. You guys can't tell it perfectly, um, but I can just tell you this is running at 120 hertz and it just is crisp you guys are probably going to see this in 60 hertz or 60 frames per second um but it just it looks good it looks pretty pretty good i have to dive in so first off the bat i'm noticing a giant big like banner picture for each one of these tabs here so you can click and see each one of these tabs i don't believe adobe has their stuff integrated into it can i use my keyboard i can in fact using my keyboard so you can hear that um, apps designed for pros, you can click that and then even click on that big banner image and it pops up. You can see some apps designed for pros on there. Might even have to pick up Adobe, I mean, Affinity Designer in a little bit. Um, scrolling some more, you can see uh, essential apps and things like that. It's still showing up like how it used to. It's pretty straightforward. The ratings, one thing I do like a lot more, and I'm not sure if it was, I don't remember exactly if it was in the original Windows 10 store but like the Windows 11 Microsoft Store, uh, or at least the one that's current in preview right now, shows your ratings right up front and tells you how many ratings there are, so that's pretty nice. So let's see an example like Netflix. This is the new store page. Um, so when you have store entries, this is how you can view all the information about it. I really do like this, this layout so much more. It just looks so much more crisp to me. Um, it's kind of reminds me of the Mac OS Store, like the Mac, the Mac App Store. Uh, when you click on these screenshots, they just pop up. You can use your keyboard or swipe in order to open up and close them. So it's pretty nicely laid out. I like that ratings and stuff is easier to pick up right away. On the old store, you had to click some tab like reviews, and sometimes it didn't show up exactly in order to view your reviews. And you had to scroll down a lot. Now everything is just kind of up front and right there, which is pretty nice. You can see there it says by clicking install. This is just Netflix's kind of general uh, text that they put in. And you can see how many ratings, the official rating, official average, general things. It's It looks good, and you can even share it with people. So it it looks good. And then system requirements. Before, they used to just tell you system requirements up front and everything like that, like all the system requirements. Now they just have a green check mark. It looks showing like whether or not this is just good to go. So that's pretty dope, I got to say. And then you, you jump down more, and it shows you what you actually need for it. Netflix doesn't require much. So that's that's pretty nice looking at this. It it looks, I think I can get used to this. Um, and then you got the people also uh, like stuff. So one thing I'm gonna do is look at, let's see one of the apps that I've actually looked at before. I don't think Taskbar X was even in the store. I don't remember, nope it is. So if I click that, this is Taskbar X. Obviously I've done a video on it. I just wanted to see how 
things are with this. You got the features on there, what's new in the version. I like that area. It's a separate area to know what's new. It's kind of annoying when you can't ever find out what's new. Um, obviously, you got your centered search bar. Now let's jump into the apps tab. So the apps tab pretty much shows what was on home, but it's specifically for apps. It's not going to show games and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm not really going to go through that. I'm just kind of scroll through just to see if I see any differences, any like inconsistencies and stuff like that. But so far, so far, it looks like it's so good. Uh, going to gaming. Obviously, this is for just games, whether Microsoft Store games or Xbox style games, uh, mobile or console feeling games. Um, one thing I'm going to do, though, is like Sea of Thieves is on Game Pass. It has a Game Pass logo. That's nice. You got you can update. You can choose to buy. That's good. Does it tell you all the supported platforms that it's on? So it says here, Game Requires Xbox Live Gold to play on Xbox. System requirements. All right, let's see if it shows or if it's only relevant. Because before, it used to show this title is supported on Xbox and as well as PC. It looks like right now it's only showing you PC relevant things. It doesn't show you whether or not you want to install it on Xbox. So that's kind of interesting. They took that feature out where you can't see that this is supported on Xbox, PC, HoloLens, and all that stuff. They seem to have took it, taken that out. So that's interesting. So double clicking to go back to full screen. Entertainment is the same thing. Krilla obviously on there. I saw leaks of like Disney Plus on here for some reason, but I don't believe Disney Plus is even on the store. So let's see, Disney Plus. Nope, Disney Plus is not on the store. It's it's different. It's definitely different. And then you got my library. When you click on library, let's see what shows up. See if these has an update. So that's where you find your updates. And then you can see my library on there. TikTok, of course, just came out. It looks it looks pretty decent. I gotta say it looks decent. And then you got help, which just lets you pop out the help or the that command there so I can tell a few things are missing that I would love to have had that were in the old Microsoft store and some of those few things is such as uh, when you click on a game title say if I want to download a console game like a game to my console or search for HoloLens it looks like they don't even allow you to uh, filter they used to allow you to filter so like if I type in Forza oh no they allow you to filter it's there okay so I feel like it wasn't there before I didn't see it so they allow you to filter, and then you can choose by all types, paid, free, on sale, age groups, departments. But what I don't see here that was in the other one was you could search. There was another filter tab that allowed you to search by what supported device, a.k.a. HoloLens, Xbox, you know, PC, and things like that. That doesn't look like it exists on this one. So I'd say if there's one feedback to add to this new store, and I'll add the feedback for the feedback hub is let us filter by device so that way we can do that um, one last thing before i close out this video because it's getting a little long i'm going to test out say forza horizon 4 ultimate you can install it um i'm going to see whether or not it allows you let's see manage no it doesn't let you manage that at all it doesn't look like i can even go back yeah, there's no back there's no back button anymore so when i click home will it nope it just jumps straight back home so that's another thing a little annoyance when you want to go back how do you go back because as far as i see i don't see a back button on this this uh this store it's very strange so let me see click that oh no there's a back button now i didn't notice that okay so that back button is still there that's still good install and no it doesn't let you it doesn't let you pick any other um, it doesn't let you pick any other device to install it on. It looks like you can only install it on your current device. That's something they should just change and put back in the feature. So yeah, let's, uh, let's exit out of that and go back home in general. That was the new Microsoft store for now. I'm sure new features are coming down the road. This is only the first iteration, the first build, um, I'm sure new things are coming down the road. More filter options hopefully should come and things like that. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this change. Um, could you get used to it? Because I know I could definitely get used to this. This this looks so much better in my opinion. Uh, it's like a new fluent design language. It's not, is it? Is it see-through? Is it fluent? I don't believe this is really that fluent. It's a different style of fluent, I guess. You can't really see through it that much at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. 
and uh, take care. There's going to be more videos in this culmination of this first build. There's so many things to cover.